Let's talk about stretching a bit and why you might need to do that. One reason, maybe you bought a pair of boots and they were a little tight when you tried them on at the store, but you thought they'd break in maybe a little more than they actually do. In that case, you might need to stretch the boot or you have a pressure point in a specific area and it's causing a blister. You might need to stretch a specific area. Let's take a look at how a boot is actually created in order to understand why there are some other reasons you might need to stretch a boot. If we take a look at this boot, I'm going to use the tree for example. A last is similar to a boot tree, only it's rigid. It's built on the shape of the boot and will eventually give you the size of the boot. The leather is stretched around this last while it's wet and then tacked on the bottom and allowed to dry. Once it dries, they're going to build the sole off of that. And they're going to leave that last in this boot the entire time of production. This boot is going to form to that last and shrink because you've gotten it wet and you've stretched it. Okay, well it's shrunk to a specific form. Well you put your hot wet foot in there and you walk around all day and you bend the boot and then you take your boot off and you leave it, it's going to want to shrink back as it dries. And that boot is going to curl like this. I'm sure all of you at some point or another have seen a pair of curled boots that look like this. And you wear them like that. You put your foot in it, it stretches out, and it gets wet. And you go about your day, and you take them off, and it shrinks back up. And eventually, over time, it gets really bad. One way to help prevent that, put a boot tree in every pair of boots you buy. Buy a pair of boots, buy a boot tree. This is a Lucchese boot tree. It is about the cheapest thing on the market. Tecovis is somewhere around $50 for junk. Um, buy the Chinese ones at Cavenders or Amazon. They're somewhere around $34, $35. I believe this is $39. You throw a military discount in there, you can buy five of them for $100. Buy a pair of boot trees every time you buy a pair of boots that are over $200. $200 is about the price of a pair of tennis shoes these days. A decent fashion tennis shoe. So if you're going to spend $200 on a pair of boots that you're going to wear and throw away, fine. Don't put a pair of boot trees in it. But if you're going to spend more than $200, get a pair of boot trees. It's, it's very, very much worth it. That being said, that's going to help maintain the shape of the boot over time. It's also going to allow the moisture that builds up in that boot over the course of a day to be absorbed in, into that wood and help dry the boot faster. Now, if you have one pair of boots, that can be problematic. You wear the same pair of boots every day. It doesn't have time to properly dry. Ideally, you should have two or three pairs of boots that you can rotate in and out. One pair of boots one day, next day another pair of boots. If you've only got two pair of boots, that's fine. It gives at least a day of rest between wear and for that boot to properly dry. Boot tree, rotate your boots. That's very important. Now, if you have a pair of boots and they have shrunk and you... It's, it's got that curl to it. You can still bring those back. I've, I've bought a pair of really curled boots from eBay before, and I throw a set of boot trees in there, stick them back in the closet after conditioning them, of course. Condition the boot, put the boot tree in there, sit them in the closet a week or two, pull the boot tree out, and it looks like a normal boot again. And that's years and years of abuse that you can correct in, in that simple simple procedure. 
All right, so let's go back. You bought a pair of boots. Maybe you thought they were going to stretch or break in a little more than they did, or you notice a pressure point. Might need a stretcher. And there are several ways to do that. You can, um, you can take them to your local Western store. Um, they generally will have uh, a boot stretcher and you can tell them what you need stretched and they can stretch any part of the boot. Cavenders does this, I know. Um, I can't speak for anybody else. I'm sure Boot Barn does. I'm pretty sure Boot Barn and Shepler do this also. Um, but they'll do that. They're, it's usually free. It's free at Cavenders, I'll put it that way. These two boots, they're basically the same boot. Same leather. It's the Lucchese Devon, which is a handmade um, classic line of GY series. Uh, it's ranch hand calf. Now, calf is very elastic. It's a young leather and it will tend to shrink up a lot more than other other types of hide because it has that that elasticity built into it it's not a problem when the boot fits uh, and you don't have a pressure point issue or um, tightness because you want that it's going to form to your foot and it's going to feel great both of these boots have a pressure point issue for me right here along the outside edge on the on the right boot only the brown feels like a lot thinner leather although they are the exact same hide and this is a burnished calf skin I'm not a hundred percent sure of the reason why this boot is thinner and more pliable than the black boot. The black boot feels thicker. And I've asked LaCasey about this and they seem to think it has something to do with the dark dye, the dark pigments in the black dye. This could be, but it's just not my favorite boot. It should theoretically fit, wear, and feel exactly like the other boot. It does not. Um, I have a horrible problem in this area along the outside edge of the right boot only, and I needed to stretch it. Well, I thought this would be a good time to show you how to stretch a boot if you have that problem. And I'll show you exactly how to do that right now. Hounds Bay, it's under $80 on eBay. It's a boot stretcher. This is almost identical to the commercial boot stretcher. This particular stretcher being only $80 is going to be made for a more at home personal use instead of a commercial use. So it's made of wood and the metal is not what I would call professional grade. Now there's nothing wrong with the metal used on this stretcher. It's just not going to be built for everyday hard use that you would find in an industrial situation or a commercial situation. That being said, it's a great home use boot stretcher. Comes with this little box of accessories for pressure points. Let's take a look at that. You only need one stretcher because it's ambidextrous. It will go in either boot and you apply these pressure point inserts to either side depending on what you need. So you have a round one, an oblong one, and a little smaller oblong one. Well, if I have a pressure point issue here, I'm going to put that right there. Let's take a look here. I thought these were kind of angled. This one seems to be a little, have a little angle to it, so you can put it directionally like that. It fits differently in this direction than it does that direction. So it does have an angle to it. Some of these are a little different. 
put that in the place where you're going to have an issue with the pressure point. Take the boot you're having problems with, insert into the boot, like so, all the way down to the toe. And you can see already, without applying any pressure, you've got this bulge here. And you could leave it like that, and it's going to stretch out a little bit. But if you want to apply some pressure to it and really stretch it out, you just crank this, this handle, and it's going to stretch that out. And there's a lot of pressure there on this. I would recommend conditioning the boots before you do this. You don't want to crack the leather or uh, damage the leather in any way. Condition the leather, insert this, twist the handle, let it sit for 24 hours. If that's not enough, go another 24. It stretches, it works, it's great. It's exact same process a cobbler would use. Last and final point, buy a set of boot trees for every pair of boots you buy over $200. It's, it's an investment that's, that doesn't cost that much and it's gonna save you time and money in the long run. I hope that helps somebody. Thanks.